up guys got the 8s outcast back out uh, today she's a little uh, a little bit beefier she's got a little bit more horsepower so we'll go ahead and uh, get straight to it uh, she's a uh, fully m2c uh, beef caked out uh, the chassis motor mount uh, all the suspension blocks there you got a nice shot of the steering rack right there which looks really nice it looks uh, butter smooth um, I do now have the uh, uh, you know, since I had all this apart, I decided to go ahead and throw in this uh, 5687 uh, Hobby Wing 1100 KV uh, running the, the uh, 30 tooth pinion. I still got the stock ESC on here. It's uh, at ma uh, max punch. Um, you know, it seems to be a pretty good ESC, especially since the Arma update. Um, but I do have a Max 5 on the way for it. But we'll just we'll just see how, how she performs out here. Um, we'll just have to see what's up. But here's a nice nice shot of the chassis. I mean, it's beautiful work. Everything lined right up. I mean, just, just picture perfect. Uh, here's this little uh, mount right here too for the front chassis brace, which is a very nice upgrade. So just all the little details, a uh, huge uh, shout out and props to Mitch for, for his quick response on this truck and, and getting all the parts uh, readily available for it. And I'll put a link down in the uh, description uh, for the parts. And also a big, huge uh, shout out to my good buddy, uh, Dennis from Three Sons RC. Uh, he did a whole video on the installation and all the different parts. and. You know, which really meant a lot uh, so you guys check that out I'll put a link to that I also need a, the uh, description the link to his channel and a link to the video and uh, so it's pretty cool stuff so I'm gonna give this thing a quick rip out here it's, it's kind of windy we've had some rain uh, but luckily it's kind of dried out some and I'm gonna try to get out while I can all right guys let's see what's up Looks like the wings just hanging on by a limb. <laughs> Might as well just take it off the rest of the way. Uh, oh well. Looks like a new wing mount's gonna be on order. Guys, this truck just hauls ass now for sure.
All right, guys, that's going to be it for now. I um, had a total blast. Uh, she, you know, she definitely took a beating out here. Um, I had a got a couple of body, uh, you know, body cracks that I'm going to have to fix, which is no big deal. Uh, the wing did end up falling off of it. Uh, you know, it finally decided to bail. I, must, I had a crack in it, pretty bad crack in one of the mounts, uh, maybe from a prior bash. Uh, or just some of these hard rolls, you know. Uh, as far as the truck goes, everything looks like it's uh, holding up good. Uh, all the M2C stuff is definitely, definitely holding up. Uh, the only thing I see that I did break was this little, uh, you know, rod end for the front, for the front uh, chassis brace, which is, you know, which is no big deal. Um, the chassis still looks, still looks perfectly straight, so that's good. So a huge, uh, you know, again, huge shout out to uh, M2C Racing Mitchell Looper for, for coming through, you know, so fast with all the upgrades for this truck. Again, everything's on its website. And a huge shout out to Arma. Again, this truck, even stock, is, is very tough. I was very pleased with this, you know, with this durability out of the box. Uh, but for your harder, just insane, extreme stuff, you know, some, some uh, nice upgrades are always welcomed. So it was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys next time. Marcy Dude 81. Peace out.